Our ability to predict extreme weather events has improved phenomenally thanks to the availability of massive amounts of data together with powerful computing ability. And this literally makes a difference in people's lives. We use data analysis as we look for um, terrorist threats, as we look for uh, objectives and where an IED may be located uh, while we're deployed. But even on the grander scale of, of big army, we figure out how many people we should be enlisting into the army on a regular basis, how, how much money and where should we be allocating money for various projects. It's something that, that I couldn't do without the statistical knowledge that, that I have. I think it's important to try to uh, bring statistical education to schools as early as possible and make sure that it's also fun <laughs> because like, students aren't going to want to go into something that's not fun. Colleges now are adding degree paths and majors for statistics. In fact, at the Military Academy, we just are adding in this next year or two, adding a statistics or data science major. We've already added a statistics minor in the last few years, and so it is a growing field, both in academia and, and largely in academia because of the demand that it carries forth into the job market. Using experiments to generate data is just another fun way to create data sets that students can relate to in addition to them using data sets that are publicly available. I think that like making sure to incorporate experiments um, in the class and making sure uh, to incorporate a lot of group work because statisticians collaborate with each other all the time. More and more uh, statistics courses are being required for some of these non-math courses and so getting a getting an introduction to that at an early age or encouraging them to think statistically or uh, with data I think I think is very helpful to the student.